Welcome back. Um, in the previous session, we talked about storytelling and the introduction to storytelling, a little bit about the hero's journey and writer's block. Let's talk a bit about storytelling in the Christian faith. Now, the Bible's full of poetry and storytelling. Jesus told stories to help explain the kingdom. Ben, what is our role as people of faith and storytellers within the church? Uh, well, I think it's very unique. We have the opportunity to be able to share stories and bring them into a context for today's world and how people can understand, especially scripture, um, but also the, the human journey, um, you know, with God and what that looks like in an everyday context. So yeah, I think um, I prefer it because, you know, I'm not somebody who likes to stand behind a pulpit and preach to people, but I do like um, stories and I do like telling stories that help people engage with with who God is and, and what that life with Him um, can be and can look like and sharing stories about that. Mm. What about for you, Sam? Why is faith and storytelling hand in hand? I, you know, my faith, it's something that I've had forever and then I've come to love storytelling over, over time, so it only makes sense that those two worlds kind of will collide. Yeah. So we've established that stories actually have an immense power because humans connect with stories. Um, there's a psychologist, Jerome Bruner, who said that to tell a story is inescapably to take a moral stance. So basically by t telling any kind of story, we highlight a certain narrative, uh, we evoke emotion in the viewer um, for a protagonist that represents maybe something greater. Um, it's almost like you, know, you give a certain perspective or a side of a coin. So Ben, I wanna ask you, what are your thoughts on this? Um, do we as Christians have an agenda to bring? If so, what is that agenda and is it okay to bring it? I think we have a message and that message is a, is a hopeful message. It's the same message that we all longed for, you know, before we gave our, consciously gave our, you know, lives to Christ. Um, is it an agenda? Well, you know, our agenda would be uh, hopeful that people would come to know the same Saviour that, that we know. I think where it can get tricky is when we do it as a megaphone, you know, as opposed to um, a relational conversation. Um, but yeah, I think, I think there is a, a way to be able to deliver a message that is hope-filled, that is inspiring, that helps lead people on their own journey, um, not just kind of cram down answers, you know, down the throat. But like with everything, you know, when, when we make decisions, we want to be led, not told. Yeah. And I think that's very important for us uh, who are of faith, who are storytellers, to remember the right balance in that way. Yeah, yeah that's great, Ben. Um, we talked a bit about the importance of conflict and storytelling. So Sam, I wanna ask you, what is the importance of conflict and how do you bring it into, say, um, a testimony story that we do for church? Um, how do you actually bring conflict into the story? It's funny, like we talked earlier about the hero's journey and, and everything. And like when it comes to church and everything, at the, at the very least, like you've gotta, you've gotta make your story entertaining and, and compelling to watch. And you've gotta have, people have to have a reason to watch it. And, like we look back at the, what the hero's journey shows us, it's like those arcs and like the obstacles to overcome, those, those things are what, and, like, and the challenges that the characters face, that's what makes us invested in the, yeah. in the character. And so when you've got something like a testimony, like what's, what's the use of telling it if it's just all like sunshine the, the whole right. time? It's like all my life is, God made my life great and, yeah. like, and, it's, and it's still great. No, it's like we, we want to be taken on a on the journey with people and, and see like go down the path that they had to like that they went and see what they had to overcome and see how like in testimonies how God helped them to overcome that that journey. So I think putting conflict into or like in, I guess it's more internal conflict in testimonies is yeah. into it is like it's the foundation of the story. It's the yeah. The, key challenge. Yeah. That have to, oh, it's the catalyst, isn't yeah, it? That yeah. starts them on the journey to finding victory, you know, over it. And, you know, a good report is only a good report if you understand the context of where somebody's come from that when it wasn't a good report, you know, and that is that is the testimony within the story. And like with every story, conflict, um, and, it, you know, conflict isn't always as doom and gloom as we always think, because we're always looking for the big heightened action moment where everything was lost and this person was about to lose everything. It's not always that way. Sometimes it can be really subtle, but, but they become the catalyst for change. And, and like Sam was saying in that hero's journey, you know, you set out looking for something that you desire and, and you're always met with opposition because you've left that 
that familiar world for an unfamiliar world. And that is the constant cycle within life in general. And so, yeah, like Sam said, you can't just get up and just talk about the mountaintop without um, explaining the valleys that had to be, the, the, the battles in the valleys that had to mm. be won for you to be able to progress through to that mountaintop only to come down and then try and climb another mountain yeah. and then and then repeat cycle. We've found that I think over the years really challenging because I think in the church setting the you know you want a Sunday service to be inspirational. You don't want to be bringing stories that make people start thinking about challenge and times. You want to be able to invest faith and hope, you know, into them and you know you have people for you know, usually an hour, an hour and a half within a service. And so that is the the, the whole purpose of, of church, you know, is obviously to worship and to be fed by the word, but it's also to encourage, um, you know, as a community of believers together. And so it's always a challenge, isn't it? To like find the right balance between leaving people at the end of it going scarred by it and going, I came to church and I don't, I'm like now I'm like perplexed as to whether I feel good about this moment or not, but leaving them, encouraged mm. by the work that God has done in somebody's life. Um, and if he can do it for one, he can do it for you. Mm. And, and that's really the power of storytelling within churches to be able to share those journeys that people have gone through where they've seen God time and time again be faithful. Yeah. Um, so yeah. There's a bit of a trap as well, if you look the other way of as Christians, we, we see everything in hindsight and we see it through kind of the victory moment. Um, but to actually take people back and actually walk them through some of that conflict without having to see the result so that we get engaged in the story, we don't know what's going to happen and we, we pay attention so that when we do get to that victory point or the success or achieving the goal or whatever it might be, mm -hmm. um, we're actually invested and we can actually celebrate with the character. Yeah. Does every story need to entertain? I think, like Sam said, I think it has to be compelling enough that it's keeping people's interest invested in the story, um, especially in a church setting it can be lazy to think, well, they're a captive audience. No one's going to get up and leave off a two-minute video that we're telling a story of. But they may not physically get up and leave, but they may switch off mm. and, and lose some of the important meaning and value that you've created through this story to be able to create a teachable moment for people. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's important to just understand that, yes, it, entertaining may be compelling enough and interesting enough Yes, and that's really in understanding what the story is about. What are the lessons? Mm. We constantly get, we get the first 10% of a great story from somebody. We'll say, oh, you know, you should speak to Peter. He, this happened, this happened, this happened. You go, okay, well, that, that's, that's a journey he went on, but who was he at the beginning and who did he become as a result of that? And then how did he transform personally from that that teaches us that this journey that we all go on is worthwhile when we know that God is there to help us find victory over it and we're gonna be better as a result of it. And so they're the things you have to look for in story to make them meaningful. Otherwise you end up just with a great video that most people come away going, oh, that was cute, but doesn't do anything. And I think if you're gonna put that amount of time, if you're spending money, if you're putting resources into it, it has to be something that allows people to have a transformative moment or it has to be so meaningful enough that um, people are transformed as a result of it. You probably, when you're making a testament, you kind of do have to look at what you're crafting and be like, what is, what is the purpose here and what is like, and so if it is to entertain and to be funny or to be one thing, that's, that's great. You can, you can do that, absolutely. But it, can, it sits in one basket and then you have, but if you want to, like teach a lesson or like show a theme or show like an aspect of God or a, like, you know, or, or highlight someone's incredible life, uh, then like look at that and, and see what you can pull out of that to, to really take people on that journey. And I yeah. find like, I guess as an encouragement, it's like oh, people's lives are compelling and they are entertaining and they are interesting. And, and I think you can just like, as long as you're, aware of what your intention is with the, the video, I think you can be confident that yeah. like those, those pieces will fall into place. Yeah. I think life's too short to just focus on creating entertainment. There's so many people out there creating entertainment. And you know, what we have in terms of our faith, 
I don't want to reach the end of my life going, well, God, I, I did my best at entertaining people, but not in part um, a message of hope, you know, for them to be able to help them on their journey. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, I think entertainment can be a really tricky thing. Um, compelling, teachable, finding meaning in the content or the stories that you are creating is probably first and foremost the most important thing. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, in the next lesson, we're going to keep talking about faith and the industry. So join us for that.